This is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Nale channel. Today we are going to see a wonderful topic called AD. AD is stand for eight disciplines. Or we can also it also has another name called Kappa, corrective action, preventive action. It also has another name called Car, corrective action request. So we are going to see that we are going to mellow all the eight D's, eight discipline, and what are those, and you know how it will be useful, how to interpret from the ISO standard or from the IATF standard that we are going to see. Let's see that what those AD is all about. The first D is called form a team. This is first D. Another D you have second D is called describe the problem. And then third D you have correction or containment action. And then fourth D you have root cause analysis. Yeah. So this is all about 4D. Let's go to 5D. Yeah. 5D you have corrective action. is called validate the corrective action 7d is called preventive action 8D. and the last you have 8d that is congratulate the team team so this is all about 8d 8d a discipline and this is how it goes let us go a little bit further. The first D is called form a team. To form a team, one of the basic thing what we need to have, we need a CFT, cross function team. So do have cross function team. So whenever we wanted to do uh, analysis, whether proactively or addressing the customer complaint or whatever the analysis you wanted to do a break, breakthrough changes and all that. So we need a team. So we need a different ideas to get it collected, right? So for that we need a cross function team. And then the next team, uh, the next D you have called describe the problem. So problem has to be described very well. So it says that if the problem is being described, that means half solved. If you are able to elaborate the problem, understood the problem, that means we are half solved. That means all set to you know half. We are already done towards the solutions, right? So to describe the problem, what we do is, first you pick up the statement given by the customer and then from there you can do, add more factual words. For example, the customer complaint is marker does not have, uh, you know, white fonts, yeah, the, the letter, the word white is not there, that is that describe the problem. So then you can add more reference to it. So when that marker, what is the part number of that? when did it done when the custom complaint was received and all that you can add the quotation factual words in the description describe the problem and then you have a next word called correction and con con containment action this is the word which is mostly commonly get confused correction meaning like correcting the event for example the white uh, no word was missing. I'm just correcting it. I'm just going back and then printing back the white. That's it. The problem is solved. That's called correction. Correct correction meaning like immediate action to address the problem. That's our correction. We are not doing for any root cause analysis and all that. There was a problem. I just correct it. And then you have called containment action. Containment action meaning like elsewhere the same problem is there or not. I need to check. If the problem exists, what I need to do, for example, else the same problem was there, let's say in the finished good, the same problem was there, uh, maybe in the, you know, in the production line, I have to take down all the quantities, that's what, containment action, contain, how much does the stock contain, I have to take down all and then I have to, you know, write down the numbers, for example, let's say the same problem, we had 25, pro 25 marker contain the same problem out of 1000. That means those things we have to quarantine that one. 
and then the heart of the the root cause analysis uh, the AD is root cause analysis for root cause analysis you can use a different thing you can use a fishbone diagram so like man machine method material measurement mother nature you can use it or you can use yy analysis you can ask like why 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 you can ask or yy analysis you can ask why this happened why the white uh, in a word is missing and why it happened all these you can do root cause analysis like we are just pinning up down to find out the underlying root cause and then you have called corrective action this corrective action from the normal english word and the iso context is different what does it mean by that the word corrective action meaning like anything which prevent the problem anything which prevents the problem is called corrective action where do you get the reference you will get the reference in class number 10.2 in ISO 9001 2015 it says that eliminate the possible action eliminate the cause and have a corrective action so that it elsewhere the same problem will not reoccur again so the word corrective action meaning like anything which fix a problem permanently remember the definition from the normal English to ISO is different ISO says that anything which fix a problem permanently so I find a way to balance that white will white missing will never reoccur again that is called anything called preventive you have taken an action to solve the problem permanently that is called corrective action and then you have called validate the corrective action let's say i have taken some efforts i have done some automation whether those automation are working or not that is called validate the corrective action we have to validate we have to do it again to confirm that uh, you know whether the proposal whether the actions are effective and then you have 7d 7d also it's called like uh, you know preventive action so already the definition from the english context the definition is already hop on here corrective action what is the definition for preventive action preventive action meaning like horizontal deployment or you have a sustenance method let's say so the problem uh, occurred in location a and you wanted to similar processes there in location b and c that means you are horizontally deploying it that is called preventive action or you wanted to document it you wanted to have a training mechanism be stronger all these that is comes in preventive action the last is congratulate the team meaning like so everyone has given their ideas thought process everything that need to be you know congratulate that need to be appreciated that need to be you know that's what the engagement of people is all about so this is the quick summary of the entire AD. particularly now the latest standard says that evaluate the need of the corrective action even though if you figure out the root cause analysis we should not stop it we have to understand redo it and then figure out whether this is the exact cause or not right so that is what the corrective that's the first thing fundamental thing we need to uh, remember the next word we need to remember is corrective action corrective action meaning like anything which resolves the problem permanently is called corrective action preventive action meaning like anything horizontal deployment you wanted to share the best practices that is called preventive action and you have a sustenance method like documentation and all that that is preventive action i hope you like this uh, uh, video and uh, you have got some idea the next video we will be making on the same thing called 8d with more and more example as such please wait for the uh, part two and we are uh, we will give more information about it please do like share subscribe my channel you have a nice day ahead